By far the most psychedelic bees are the orchid bees. These relatives of bumblebees and honeybees are found exclusively in the forests of the Neotropics. Over 200 species are known. Their name comes from the male's interest in orchid flowers. But orchids don't produce pollen or nectar. Yet they will fly long distances to get to the flower. Upon arrival, the bees scrape the petals with their tarsi. As fluids come out of the petal, they are sponged up with the hairs on the tarsi and passed on to the tissue on the inside of the tibia. The value of these substances is still debated but most agree they play a role as a potent sex pheromone. One can fool these pheromone-hungry sex fiends by placing drops of eucalyptus oil or even vanilla to bring them in. Now this big mama is actually an orchid bee too, of the genus Eulema. Female orchid bees don't visit orchids, but they look for pollen and nectar from a variety of forest plants. Nests are made in the soil or in tree cavities with bits of chewed wood cemented together by wax and resin. Orchid bees have three submarginal cells, a lobe on the hind wing, two kick-ass tibial spurs, and a very long tongue that is used to suck up the goodness. Sucked, not licked, thank you. The males have a swollen tibia. Stingless bees are the most famous of all the bees in the Neotropics. Before sugar cane and the European honeybee, the only sugar fix came from stingless bee honey. They are sometimes called sweat bees, for they too, like the halictids, just love a hot, sweaty body. This small subfamily contain the most common and conspicuous bees in Costa Rica. They are social bees, and build complex nests in tree cavities, old termite nests, dead bodies of mammals, and especially in the ground at the base of trees. Wax, resin, and gum are used to make the nest. This use of resin is why entombed bees have been found in fossilized resin called copal. Inside the nest, the brood cells are where the larvae develop on a diet of pollen and honey. Unlike European honeybees, stingless bees don't break into song and dance upon finding a mother load of flowers. Being wallflowers, they skip the dance part and use a buzzing sound to communicate the good news. They're not exactly friendly neighbors and will fight to the death with other colonies. Massacres are an ugly sight. Stingless bees visit flowers for nectar, but they don't always go through the front door. Here's a nectar bandit caught on the security camera. Many rural Costa Ricans raid stingless bee nests for honey. Smoke calms them down to a certain extent, and although they have no stinger, with this mandible, they can bite and twist, which incites many a victim to use loud, foul language. They are so nasty that this fly has evolved to mimic them, complete with pollen basket. In pre-Columbian times, the stingless bee was highly respected by indigenous tribes throughout the region, which used their honey, wax, and pollen for food, drink, condiments, and medicine.
More importantly, the method of making gold jewelry from the lost wax technique was developed independently of the old world by using stingless bee wax. The Mayans drank a fermented honey drink at specific religious ceremonies, and excessive consumption was not only permitted, but mandatory. Amen. While the stingless bee produces less honey than its European counterpart, many people still raise them in their backyards. Less honey, but less pain. The taste of the honey comes from what they eat. Wildflowers, or clover, or less flavorful sources. They can be told apart by the marginal cell being open, and their smaller size, and their not-so-hairy, blunt rear end. The European honeybee was one of the more useful animals introduced by white folk over 500 years ago. While slower to get established in Latin America than in North America, Costa Rica developed a thriving bee industry. However, over a decade ago, the invasive Africanized subspecies moved north from Brazil and began to interbreed with the locals. For the first years after their arrival, these aggressive, temperamental, badass bees killed many people and turned beekeeping into an extreme sport. As the bees interbred, they mellowed out, but swarms of Africanized bees are still something to run from, preferably in a zigzag pattern. These highly social bees communicate mostly by pheromones. However, the famous bee dance helps them find the goodies. Studies in Costa Rica have yet to discern a more tropical rhythm in Costa Rican hives. The honeybee has a distinctive wing venation of the forewing, and it has hairy eyes and no apical spurs on the tibia. The pollination services that bees provide are vital for ecosystems to function properly. Bees have provided us with wax, pollen, and honey. But more importantly, they pollinate many of our food crops. Recent studies have shown a great reduction in pollination by bees, to such an extent that a USDA official remarked that if the reduction continues, we could end up eating just grains and water. 